This is school on Friday, the 15th of October, 2021. The reason why this video is so long is not because of Dylan. It's actually because of someone else. I'll give the... I already have an idea for the fake name, but I'll give that fake name later. Because I don't want to ruin the sort of impact of it. So. I felt sick all day. Um, and I guess technically I am actually sick because I'm doing that thing where my body forces itself to throw up but nothing comes out um, so I don't know if I am legally or physically sick or not Anyway, let me think of where to start. So, a while ago, my granny got hair bobbles because I was talking about all that. And I, I, I put one on today just for PE because, like, the past two weeks, the wind has been blowing in my face. Um, so. My hair isn't good. Like it not to say that it, that it ever is good, but it really isn't good when the bottle's in. So I, I took it off as soon as PE was over. And there was nothing really to talk about in PE. So let's get the break. Once again, I was talking to Kelly. And um, because Kelly was going around with, with his iPad. Because he was responsible for signing people up to do toilet duty. I didn't mention this yesterday because I didn't realise how big of a thing it was. But from what I've heard, a year nine took a crap on the floor in the toilets. And someone filmed it. And now because of that, you... Six formers are being pulled out of study with... Item without notice to do toilet duty but now it's become more strict you actually have to put your name down um and they'll time you and all that and i mean i guess they're just trying to be equal but it's not really fair that because one boy screwed up the all the girls are being affected by it um but anyway you know, I was talking to him about when I should do it. Um, and after I, I put my name down for when I was doing it, I was still talking to him about stuff. I don't remember what. But then this guy... Hold on. Okay, I... I it again, sort of, uh, forced vomiting when there's no vomit. I really, it's sort of cringe to do this, but just save time because I imagine it's going to happen a lot in this video. Uh, I'm just going to say fake up. I throw up that doesn't contain any vomit. Also, if I knew this, this video would be very disgusting, I would have given a warning at the start, but I, I didn't. But anyway, the fake name I have for this guy is Buscemi, because of Steve Buscemi, because of this scene. How do you do, fellow kids? That is that guy's comedy. Um, he is not funny. Um, yeah, really, he's just not funny. Um, like, the difference between me and him is that I know I'm not funny, so I don't try for Buscemi. I don't know if he knows he's not funny or not, but he keeps trying. But this, 
was the most serious I've ever seen him. Um, he says, Don, come here. Yeah. Why, why are you here? Because I'm, I'm signing up for toilet duty. But you've already signed up for toilet duty. Why are you still here? I, I, I thought you didn't. The form teacher tell you you're not supposed to be anywhere near Dylan. Uh, no, he didn't. Well, the form teacher told Dylan that he's supposed to stay away from you. So. Right, what he's trying to say is that when the foreign teacher was talking to me and he talked to Dylan as well, he said to Dylan, and this is all alleged, I don't know, I might have got confirmation, I don't remember. But from what he said, what has happened is that he has told Dylan to stay away from me. Dylan has told Bishami, and Bishami and Dylan must think that because... Dylan must stay away from me, I must stay away from Dylan. But I was never told to stay away from Dylan. Um, and then, once again, another argument broke out. Uh, and they said, you want to go to the head of the year? And I said, no, we can't go to the head of the year. The head of the year knows nothing of this because the head of the year wasn't involved. In the events of yesterday. Because this. It starts. I didn't say this bit. But it starts from what, from the events of Wednesday. But overall. It has nothing to do with the events of Wednesday. It's actually a continuation of the events of yesterday. Thursday. And they had a year. I don't know if he knows about it. But at least he wasn't involved. In yesterday. So we can't go to him. The only, the only people we can go to is Georgia, my mentor, or the form teacher. Luckily, the mentor does duty uh, at MFL on a Friday break. So it went to her. I tried to explain it to her, but then well, when there was a guy who got involved in the argument. I'm going to give him a fake name. Buzz. Buzz. Uh, came with me. To the mentor. And despite the fact that, he's, that he is my friend. Like genuinely. He was siding with the others. He was siding with Buscemi. Um, so I tried to explain it. To the. To Miss. But I got interrupted by Buzz, who explained his version of events. And then uh, I pointed at Buscemi, because Miss didn't know where Buscemi was. And Buscemi saw me pointing at him, so he decided to come over and give his version of events. And it started off uh, very truthful. But then he said, Dylan was told. Dylan as in me, by the form teacher to stay away from the other Dylan. I said, I told you, I have not been told that. I wasn't told that. Um, and then a few minutes later, he says it again. That's just a lot of, a lot of crap. Uh, Georgia overhears all this and comes over. Uh, and... George and the mentor uh, say a few things to each other and then what they decide is I am now invited to go to learning support every Friday lunch to read. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday break I go to the ramp. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday lunch I go to the ramp. It's only on a Friday afternoon. Also, Thursday lunch, I've got Friday afternoon. That is the only time that I will go to learning support. And the reason why it's the only time I'm allowed to go to learning support. If it up to me, I'd be going there all the time except for when I have duty. <clears throat> 
So, on top of that, I had General next because they were still talking while the bell went. So, Mentor said to Georgia, bring Dylan over the General, uh, explain, like, don't explain everything because the, the General teacher doesn't need to know. But just say that Dylan's a bit upset, uh, there was an incident at break and all that. And that's what happened. And then after that, we had English. But the teacher wasn't in. And then Georgia appeared again and said, uh, you need to see the form teacher now. Because he had a chat with the guy that shoved minstrels down your back. And Buscemi. I went up, explained some things to him. He said some things like, uh, in, I don't remember what he said. He said something and I replied, that has been my entire strength of life. But anyway, uh, because he had a class and well, I had a class as well. Uh, I had to go. I'm feeling very sore, but I don't, I don't think I'm going to throw up. It's, uh, there's not even a nice way to say this, so I'm not going to say it. So, um, I'm just going to get back on track. I went to the English class. No one's there, no teacher, no students. Um, uh, well, Georgia was there and she said, they've all went to the head of year, but she's also an English teacher, to ask for work. And the head of year said, just go to study. Uh, so we had an extended study. Uh, did some work there, but then third period. Uh, actually, that's not really worth explaining. Uh, so I won't. Lunch. Uh, I just read. Um, and then I had a single of media, and we're getting into the theories now, and we're starting off with feminist theory. But the thing is that feminist theory really is what is called queer theory in our books. Uh, and queer theory, for those who don't remember, is the... BS idea that sex is on a spectrum. Or gen gender is on a spectrum. I don't remember which is which. Because really they're the same. But these people decided that they're not. But whatever. There was something said. Let me remember what it was. So before we started to get into the theory... And because there's two different versions of feminist theory, I'm just going to call this one queer theory for now, so that there isn't really free. Uh, before we go on the queer theory, which is written by Bell Hooks, the teacher explains some stuff about Bell Hooks. Uh, Bell Hooks doesn't use capital letters. The reason why Bell Hooks doesn't use capital letters is because society expects her to use capital letters. So she doesn't want to use capital letters. I'm all for questioning authority and all, but that's dumb. Like, <laughs> um, I, I was actually thinking about this. I thought that there will be some people that will do stuff like that. Because that's not really an expectation of you. It's just that it's easier to read something if the correct grammar is used. Right. It's normal to have five fingers or on each hand, right? But imagine someone had six fingers on each hand. That wouldn't be normal, right? But imagine an alternate world where everyone had six fingers on each hand. And there are some people who only have five on each hand. 
The people with five fingers would be weird. They wouldn't be ordinary. And that's the way that I see it. I don't remember where I was going with this, so I'm just going to drop it. But I'll, I'll, I'll give an example of what I mean by it being harder to understand something if you don't use punctuation. The No Country for Old Men book contains little punctuation uh, because it's the author's style. They don't use capitals. We only, we only really use full stops and if you're lucky, a comma sometimes. Um, and it's just really weird to tell who's talking or when someone is talking because you can't tell if it's, some, it's something that someone is saying or something that someone is thinking. Um, but that's just style. I don't know if Cormac Car McCarthy, the author, uh, did that because uh, Zaddy must be used punctuation, therefore I'm not going to. Or if he just wanted to be different, he wanted to stand out. But anyway, that's it for media. And then in study, uh, did a bit of homework. It was just a small research task. I'm talking tiny. Um, <clears throat> and then I read and I finished the Julian chapter by R. J. Palacio. Before we get into the review, I just need to make it clear that Wonder is my favorite book of all time. Um, and since I heard that there there was a sequel. I was like, yeah, I, I need to get this. Um, although the author has said that you shouldn't call the book a sequel, more like a side story, because it's a it's all about Julian. Um, and Julian was a bad guy in the book. But the thing is that, like, let's compare it to The Last of Us 2. And I feel sick again. It's been a long time since the last time I recorded because <coughs> I had to eat my dinner, then my brother went to the bathroom and I was able to get like half my exercise done. <coughs> um But yeah, let me think of where it was. I think last like comparing the Julian chapter to the last of us two. And the reason why I did that is because Julian was a bad guy. But with the Julian chapter, obviously, I mean, RJ said in the, in the introduction that she didn't want you to feel sympathy for Julian, but it, it provides a better understanding into some stuff because it runs, like, coincide with the main book. Meanwhile, Last of Us 2 expects you to sympathize with Abby. It also expects you to simp for Abby, but that's besides the point. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, it was great. Um, That's all I really have to say about it. So, this is memes as of 23 past 5 p.m. Babe, please stop. You're not a 1940s LA private investigator. Beat it, toots. These streets aren't what they used to be. I can't play the audio. It's it's not like a, a royalty-free uh, stereotypical noir song that actually comes directly from the LA noir soundtrack. So, uh, Keith Olbermann is back. <coughs> if you remember who Keith Olbermann is, he was that guy that worked for, I think, CNN. And he had his own sort of, like, we should always sit on a desk. And he would bang his desk, going, it's scum, it's Russian scum. Uh, because Trump won the 2016 election. And then after, like, after people gave up trying to blame it on the Russians, he just disappeared. But then he came back recently. And Joe Rogan called him unhinged. 
or maybe Joe Rogan calls one of his men, he came back, and he made this video. <coughs> um, just making fun of Joe. It's like people who don't, people aren't taking the vaccine because they're afraid. They're afraid. Over and over again, he just keeps on saying afraid, and he says it the exact same time every single time. It's always, they're afraid. Um, and then he says, uh, don't listen to Joe Rogan. He's the one drinking goat pee. When, uh, the thing he took, like, he, he took a, he got coronavirus, and he, he didn't take a vaccine or anything like that. He took something that apparently is subscribed to, like, a quarter of a billion people. So, as for curing coronavirus, don't know. Um, but is it, like, unsafe? It's not unsafe, considering that 250 million people have taken it. <clears throat> this Twitter as of 26 past 5 p.m. So, this isn't specific DLCs. Oh, uh, maybe it is actually. So, DLC for Animal Crossing New Horizons, despite the fact that Nintendo, I remember hearing this as well, Nintendo said in like, I think 2013, we are never going to do DLCs. And then they realized that DLCs aren't supposed to be free, they're supposed to be paid. Basically, they sold out. Like, I don't mind DLCs as long as they sort of have a justification. Like, if they if the idea came forth after the game's release, right, let's take Valhalla and the Wrath of the Druids and Siege of Paris. Let's say they came up with the idea for those two before the game released and they had enough time to code it in. Then they should have coded it in. But if they didn't, then it being a DLC is justified. So now Nintendo used to care about the gamers, but now they just want money. Basically, they used to care about the kids, now they just care about their parents' money. Yes, that was a Spongebob reference. Um, who's gonna, who's gonna buy this? Let's see, I'm trying to justify this. Oh, here we go. What the heck is wrong with that advert? Just a boy in a dress having fun. No sexualization, no gender pushing, just a boy who wants to wear a dress. He's not saying, oh, boys have to wear one, get over yourself. It's just an advert. Well, here's the thing. Do we actually have confirmation of that if the boy, the actor, uh, wears dresses? Do we know if he wanted to wear dresses or if the parents or the advertisers forced him to? But where, where's this? Where's the statement? There you go. As long as we believe in children have fun, that's why we chose this playful storyline for our latest adverts. I showed the young actor getting carried away with his dramatic performance. He is not willfully damaging his home and is unaware of the. And unintentional consequences of his actions. If customers have accidental damage covered with our home insurance, that will cover by potential major and minor home disasters, including unintentional breakage cost for children in the family. Right. Okay. <clears throat> Earth could be alien humans by 20, 2500. Um. But I think what they're trying to say is that Earth in 2500 is going to look different from Earth now. Like, if, if I time-traveled to 2500, it it would be foreign to me. 
even if it were my house. But the thing is that, yeah, because it's 500, I know, like 479 years away. Unless what they mean, all the people are going to leave Earth by then. Monetization? What? Not trending. Mm, yes. Daniel Craig prefers going to gay wars. Hmm. Either it's some political BS or he doesn't want women hitting him up because he's married despite the fact he plays a Casanova or bald well, yesterday I guess Mm, okay, I was kind of wrong, I guess. <clears throat> Psst, why are you on TikTok? Conservatives are not full. People need to see, and this goes to your question about what conservatives do, conservatives need to start showing people, hey, you know, we're actually the fun people, we're the interesting people, we're the creative people, we're the open-minded people. They're all hysterical and angry at all of the things they purport us to be, but let's get out there and show people that's not who we are, we're actually having fun, and I mean, try to even think about it this way, where do you think the next great music or art is going to come from? You think it's going to come from the Marxist left? where you can't have any individual expression? Or do you think it's going to come from this new thing on the right? I mean, the answer is pretty obvious. People need to... Conservatives are not fun, creative, smart, empathetic, or interesting. That's why I don't make great art. Their art sucks ass, period. They create music will never come from the right, ever. It isn't so far, so why would it ever in the future? Well... I mean, politics really shouldn't have anything to do with art. So I guess it is great with both Dave and Anthony. I don't really have to. Although I might show a bit of bias because I don't have a problem with Dave. But I, I really don't like Anthony. Anthony shouldn't get in politics because he's just a guy. He's just this random guy who reviews rap music. It's like... <clears throat> uh... You know, he reviews bloody whatever's popular and ignores all the good stuff. But, uh, that's for good right-wing music. Morrissey. Oasis. I sleep. Should consuming child porn be legal? I think that that would be, yes, more legal and more ethically consistent. Yes. The 
left, let's give workers control of the labor. The right, I'm going to take horse medicine, crown and thumbs until I die. Sanders, I literally cannot tell the difference between these two things. Stop dunking on Sanders. Because that's literally what that is. Make sure the Sonic Team for you guys to sign both the Nazis and LGBT to make it potentially siding with the Nazis. If you're not against the Nazis, you're telling us. No. Like, uh, I hate the fact that we'll. that we'll learn this in RE, like some guy saying, uh. Oh, uh, being on the fence is dangerous. No. But let's say you're uh, at it. These Nazis and these people fighting their, for their rights against the Nazis both make good points. I'm undecided. Come kill some trans people, but sure, why not? Isn't it surprised that all some senators are on the right anyway? So there's no so there's no center for you. If you're a centrist, you're right wing by default, and if you're right wing, you're a Nazi by default. The thing is that we're not talking about Nazis because Nazis are. That's the far right. We're just talking about, like, center, right, moderate, right. They're not Nazis. They're literally acting pancreas comic L man. Oops. Tell me you know nothing about art without telling me you know nothing about art. Left. Imagine trying to objectively stare literally. Stare literally anything about art, LMO. Left this art is crap and their music is crap. Always has been. This will never change. So sad for me. The definer of art, in my opinion, is factual and correct. Art is objective, you see. There are people on the comments trying to argue that black metal isn't right wing. Or have you heard some of the crap they've said? Probably the N word. <laughs> Marcus is such a funny comedian. His life is such a big joke. I hope it ends with a bang. Probably shouldn't post this. 22 yard of she her trans girl will perform my legal consent. They appear in any less reason less data otherwise. Statistics are on my side. This camp has been noticed me sampying. For days, not even making up conversations with me that never happened. And this has been really sad, extremely terminally online. It's not chatting you, my crafts to make you notice me seems standing in comparison. Which one of you? Because I have about 15 guys send me the daily crafts. David yeah, Amos, conservative, he was assassinated today, Liberty 29, false and prayers, Jim, and I'm sure the replies to tweets are a little more honest. People not being able to tell the difference between making jokes and saying direct statements like, I'm glad this happened, Tory scum have actually made me grieve labor on something. The school system is not up to par. Looks like the, it's just a joke guy is saying that it stops being a joke when I left this does a wall. Many such cases that prove this statement. 